Today, I'm taking you to the north part of Ethiopia, to the most holiest place for the Orthodox religion followers. Lalibela is most known for the 12 rock churches of Lalibela that are curved from one big rock into the ground. It's most known for St. George Church that is curved like a cross. The legend has it, King Lalibela curved during daytime and at night he had help from the angels. Before he finally succeeded and made these 12 beautiful churches, King Lalibela had to try out on other places and find the right type of rock to make these churches. And his first one was Ashate Mariam. And that is where we're going to go today. So let's go. I wanted to get baptized uh, in St. George, but I fell asleep. I woke up and out uh, and got dressed very fast and I'm running that. I'm running there, Luda's waiting for me outside with the Vajaj, and we're gonna go together. Let's go. But I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm Okay. It's fine. Okay. It's a lot of sugar. Yeah, that's what I was so saying. You don't need to mix it. Okay, so I was supposed to leave today, but there is no flight. So she's happy. Too bad. Oh, that is uh, really so sad. So I have to stay one more day. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to go to the airport now if I was leaving today, but I am not. So I'm here in Almi's place, right here. And the best local food you can find in Lalibela. And um, so I am in here. The, in the omelet, it's fine. Our breakfast is here. Oh, there's onion. Thank you. I think it's meat. Okay. Meats and uh, omelette. special uh, omelette. Mm -hmm. So, we were supposed to hike all the way up to the church. But since I was traveling with uh, a bus uh, this you know, whole time from, from Bahardar, I went to Gondar to the countryside with a very big bus and I was standing for two hours. It was not a good idea. Uh, my stomach is not good. And I came from uh, Bahardar to here, also with that type of bus and a lot of this type of movement also. And that was also not good for my stomach. And now we're doing the same. So I decided not to hike it and go with my friend here, with our bajaj all the way up. <laughs> So now we are going up to the mountain where the church is and we will meet our friends on the top uh, who are walking. Yeah, so let me show you a little bit of where we are. Cut, cut. Okay, 
You see, everybody in Lalibela is a historian. And it's very good to know your history and the place that you live. It was really good that we had the bajaj. We got to drive a halfway. We even got to give a lift to people. But after this, you have to walk all the way up to the mountain. Keep going. Ah. Oh. It's so beautiful. Isn't it? This beautiful house. Oh. 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 I'm very grateful that I came now. Uh, I was going to come on uh, Christmas because it's very special Christmas here. The celebration here is super big and very famous and everybody comes here. But I am very glad that I didn't come because he was also telling me that this is where they celebrate them good. And it could be really nice here to see. But when it's uh, Christmas time, this place is saturated with too many people from across the country so there's not uh, hotels no uh, not even uh, you won't even be able to see the churches properly so i'm super happy that i came now when it's low season low season because it's corona <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nobody's here no celebration happening so i get to see all of this place by myself just for me it's like a vip treatment like the gods have prepared this for me <laughs> and of course i make uh, new friends along the way like henok here right. this uh, beautiful boy is taking me to this uh, amazing church and uh, yeah i just wanted to say this before i continue my journey and this road <laughs> very poetic. The sheep are leading us up to the church. It's right there. Okay. And as you can see people write down the remains, whoever arrived here, the lucky ones. Now let's go inside. After climbing the mountain, the first church you'll come up to is Saint Michael. I'm already 
pretty happy that I get to be here and see it. So, oh, careful. <laughs> you have to watch every step here because you might go whoop. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna take this out because it's very hot. Come. This house is also under the cave and they just put a door on it. So it's very cool. I would just love to see what's inside. So now we're gonna walk towards that way. That's where the, where the baptization place is. So we're gonna go and see. Come closer, I can show you. This is the holy water space where they bring out the holy water from here. This, um, the water comes from the ground. There's also here, then you can see. So you see that there's a cross as well. So the water comes from underground and if you hear closely, there's the sound like the water drops. Yeah, you heard it, right? So the water is from underground. So to drink, you take it from this, this one and to get baptized, you take the water, the holy water out from here. And then they made this space where you can baptize uh, yourself or I think a priest could also baptize you. But so yeah, that's where. So now we're gonna go up here so we can get to uh, Ashat Tamarem, which is Ashat Mary. So we're gonna go up here then. Up the hill. <laughs> What the As you can see, this white rock is not a very stable one. It's not a strong rock. And this is the reason why he didn't build all of his churches here in this mountain. I can really smell the incense and you know this wood it smells really beautiful. Let's go in here and see what's inside. You are a cover, no? Can't really go inside there. Yeah? There were four saints, Saint Gebra Mariam, Saint Nakutela Ab, Saint Ibrahim Nakristos, and Saint Lalibela. They were all former kings that ruled for 40 years each. They all used to come up here to this mountain for Suba'e, which is a solitary prayers. After King Lalibela decided that this wasn't the place that he wanted to build his churches, he left it started and went to build in another spot. This is when Saint Nakutala Ab left his church in the cave and came up to the mountain to finish his work. When elder monks were looking for him in his cave, they couldn't find him. So they started looking for him and they 
they went up to the mountain where he did Subai. When they went there, they started smelling this uh, aroma of incense, and that's how they found him in the church. And when he asked them, how did you find me? They said, Ashutanmetan. That means we came smelling the aroma. <laughs> When we were visiting the church, a young priest came up to us and told us that we were invited by this lady for zikr. Zikr means remembrance. There are different types of zikr. It could be for the saints, for the angels, or for the dead. The way you do zikr is to share what you have with the less fortunate. It can be by preparing food and drinks and giving you to the less fortunate or whomever is around who have not eaten and wants to eat. Or it could be going out there and doing something good like giving away money, giving something. The reason why they do this is if you're doing a zikr for saints or angels, it is to get blessings for yourself and for your family. And if you're doing it for the dead, it is to get blessings for their soul and also to remember them by. You might be wondering why the lady gave the plate to the elder gentleman and he cut the injera, put it in the middle. That's for another story, but I'll explain a little bit on this one. The head of the, the house or the man, in this case, the priest will bless the food and that is he cuts the injera and and gives it to you as your first bite as a blessing. But in this case, since there is a two of us, you just cut it and put it in the middle so we can share. That is like you can begin, you can have your lunch or you can start eating. <laughs> ሰለማሰልከመሰጥኩ <laughs> 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 On the way up here, we found some girls and we gave them a lift and they invited us for a wedding. So we decided to check it out and have some tala. Oh. Something I love about my culture is everybody is invited to celebrate whatever that they have. It don't matter if they know you or they don't. If they have something, they will share it with you. <laughs> I'm pushing up, I'm I just rejected food because I already had lunch at the church. But I quickly changed my mind and accepted the offer because Tari Akwari, which means someone who invites you respects you. Of course, it's also very rude when people invite you for food, you have to accept. And I am super happy I did because it was delicious.
After we had our beautiful lunch, we came up to the house to see the bride and give her our best wishes. And these two beautiful girls were the girls that we gave a lift to when we were coming up the mountain and they invited us to this amazing wedding. After we gave our best wishes and thanks to the people, we are now walking out, going down the mountain and going to our budget. <laughs> Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And see you on the next one. Bye.